Hi guys, in this video I want to show you the, my finished full rig for the, my Zcam F6 but this is gonna apply pretty much to any Z camera out there uh, that you might own and sort of I'll show you all the accessories, different parts, uh, why I'm using them, advantages, disadvantages, all that kind of stuff. So what I've got up here is my uh, complete rig now that doesn't mean that i'm always using the camera in this configuration because uh, like i said in the, my review of the zcam e2 f6 is that one of the things that i really love about uh, in general about all of the z cameras is that uh, they're nice and small compact camera so if you want to sort of go a little bit maybe let's say under the radar you know for a kind of a running a gun type of a shoot uh, then you definitely don't want to have something as big as this. But if you're doing a sort of a bigger uh, production where you want to have all the full-on capabilities uh, and be able to use this camera to its max, then again, this is good to have all of these accessories because you can always take away and kind of strip the camera down to the bare minimum and then you can build it up very fast. So my whole setup uh, lies around basically the small rig cage for the Zcam. A small rig, uh, if you guys have been following me uh, online, then you probably know uh, I've been using a lot of their parts and, and mainly because I kind of look at them like they're sort of like Lego for camera geeks because once you buy a cage for each of the cameras and I have a small rig cage for all of my cameras, then the great thing is that afterwards when it comes to accessories such as the handle, let's say maybe the monitor mount, you know, the grip, you know, everything, rails, all that kind of stuff, that's all interchangeable. So you don't have to buy things, you know, two or three times. You just basically buy a cage for whatever new camera that you have. And then afterwards you can reuse all the different accessories and all the different parts. And another great thing about uh, small rig is that they have a lot of different things that they produce a lot you know pretty much any little thing that you ever might sort of come up across or maybe you want to have little extra cold shoe or hot shoe mount attachment like i have here on my setup then again you'll you'll be able to find that because small rig makes a lot of cool accessories so like i said the small rig cage is sort of the base of my rig and then everything sort of attaches to it uh, so the first thing maybe here i'll talk about is this uh, top handle it's one of the many small rig uh, top handles that i have this one attaches to the cold shoe mount and now the, the cage itself doesn't come with a cold shoe mount but uh, you know, you can attach very easily an extra cold shoe mount because again, you can buy these cold shoe mounts uh, that Small Rig produces and I actually attached one up here and I have another one and I'm gonna show you and I have another one actually that I attached here on the side and this is just so that I can attach, for example, like a wireless, let's say, you know, microphone receiver or things like that uh, or, or a microphone or whatever it is that I want to attach. So, uh, so yeah, so that one attaches there and they're attached basically using a quarter 20 screw. And the handle itself is great because it also has actually two more uh, cold shoe mounts uh, here on top on the, on the back end and the front end of the handle. Uh, and this allows me to, for example, like I said, quickly attach the handle here. I can carry the whole rig this way. Uh, but if I want to, let's say, attach a monitor, like in this case, I'm using the Ninja 5 from Atomos, uh, then I can attach it there. And what I really love about this culture mount here on the top of the handle is that they give you a little like a safety notch. So if you push it down, then you'll, you'll be able to take out the accessory. But without that, nothing is going to basically fall out of it. And definitely when you're attaching an expensive, uh, you know, camera monitor recording, device on top of the the handle you you want to make sure it's there securely uh, so that's kind of how i basically use the camera now let's say if i do want to strip it down you know make it smaller and like i said i can fairly quickly remove this handle let's say if i still want to use the monitor because the zcam doesn't really have a monitor then now i can attach it directly here to the camera and you know for a lot of times if i'm shooting for example and i have the camera on sticks this is probably how I'm gonna have it because I don't need the top handle then and then I don't want the monitor to be so high up. So that's kind of how I would uh, attach it then. Uh, and then if another thing, for example, you can also do is, you know, let's say if you don't need the rails, like in this case, I have a follow focus connected, but let's say if you don't have a follow focus or any other accessories, then again, you can very easily remove these rails and you can just attach basically the, the bottom of this cage directly to your tripod. Uh, and, and that's again done pretty fast thanks to this kind of a quick release latch and removing the camera from the, the rails here on the bottom is pretty easy because there's sort of this quick release latch 
just flip it open i don't want to do it because you know I, right now i don't want to take it out because i have the follow focus and everything set up but you basically just flip it open allows you to slide the camera out of there um, and you know you can strip down again the camera make it smaller lighter let's say you're going to throw it up on a gimbal or something um, so that's an another thing now uh, another thing you'll notice here is that uh, if i have a really cool little mud box here it's actually one of the lightest mud boxes out there uh, and it's uh, you know but it comes with a lot of functionality and this one's from polar pro it's the base cam uh, mud box and this mud box you know it's made out of carbon fiber so it's very light but solid uh, it has a full size here uh, diameter which is i believe it's 104 millimeters so it's going to fit like all the all the standard full-size cinema glass you can just put it directly on there but even if you want to use it with smaller lenses like in this case i'm using the rocking on uh, cine lenses then they just give you sort of this adapter ring that you can screw it on there and you can get different diameters and then this kind of slips on there and what's great about this matte packs is that like i said it's light but also doesn't require any rails so if, let's say i'm going to strip this camera down throw it on a gimbal but i still want to have a matte packs well, I can put it on there and because it's light again most gimbals are gonna be able to work with it uh, another cool thing about this mud box is that it comes with a variable basically ND filter so it actually comes with the standard ND filter here and then it comes with a circular polarizer that you put in front of it and then by turning this knob you can adjust the intensity of your ND so that that really makes it you know handy so that you can adjust and control the exposure now as soon as the Zcam electronic ND filter that kind of you know you can put in here uh, on certain, some of the Z cameras uh, is available, I'm definitely going to be getting that, putting that in there, and then I will probably won't even use the mud box uh, unless you know I want something to control, let's say the flare and things like that. But I won't have to even then rely on this uh, to be able to control my exposure. But as of now, that variable electronic ND filter from Zcam is still not in stock. So I'm waiting, I'm waiting. I placed my order on B&H and we'll see. We'll see how soon it arrives. Uh, anyways, now getting back to, let's see the, here, the rails. So like I said, on the rails right now, I have the wireless follow focus attached. And the, this one is from Came TV. It's actually my favorite one. It's the uh, Astro the wireless follow focus. It comes with this... Um, handle here you guys can see and uh, and with this thing you can operate the wireless follow focus at just over 300 feet so it has a nice long range uh, i'm going to do, do a sort of a full-on review of this but it's a basically a great follow focus because it's uh, has a built-in battery for this one this one actually it comes with a cable so you can plug it into a any uh, 12 volt uh, power source uh, so in that case i have it plugged into my actually my v-mount battery uh, but now, yeah, if I'm, for example, adjusting here. Uh, now, if, uh, let me power this. Now, see if I power the, the Cam TV here, the, the remote, you can see I can turn and I can, you know, it's very responsive, very fast. What I like also is you can adjust the tension of this so you can get just the right friction here on the wheel. Like if I'm, for example, a lot of times uh, I'm using this uh, Cam TV follow focus, let's say, with, you know, when I have the camera. Uh, up on a, on a gimbal and I'll mount it there on the side and then I'll then adjust the friction so it's very loose and then just with my finger I can kind of just with my thumb lightly pull it and push it and I can control the focus myself if I don't have let's say, an assistant for like these kind of quick you know run and gun type of productions and then you also have four actually points that you can adjust it's actually a very uh, high torque motor that this comes with so it can pull focus like on a smaller cinema glass like this, but even on full size, uh, you know, or like full size, but also the older uh, cinema lenses that might be a little bit rusty there and, and not as smooth. This thing can, can take care of that, no problem. Uh, and like I said, it's just really easy to use. You can even plug um, a, f a trigger here from the motor here to your camera so that you can remotely start and stop the camera, which is also really cool. So anyways, really cool wireless follow focus system uh, that I'm always using here on my rigs. Uh, now, another thing actually that I have from Came TV is here on the back, uh, which is the their Crystal V. It's a wireless video system. 
And what's cool about that is that basically it works, uh, you know, off of V-mount batteries. Now that they do actually give you a little plate so you can convert it in case, let's say, you have a camera that doesn't have a V-mount battery, uh, then you can still use it using Sony NPF style batteries. But if you do have a camera that has, let's say, a V-mount uh, connection here on the back, well, then you basically would attach this uh, on the back of it, and then you put the V-mount battery here uh, onto that. And then th in this way, the V-mount battery is going to power both the transmitter and your camera. Now, I know some of you guys are probably thinking, how the hell am I powering the Z-cam using V-mount? Well, that's actually because of this cool little accessory that I got here. And this accessory, I got it together actually with this battery. Uh, and this is another cool thing about this battery is that it's it's a compact. It's one, one of the, I think it is the smallest V-mount battery that I've ever worked with. Uh, so it's a nice and small, you know, V-mount battery. You can actually see here if you ever, ever want to see, let's say, what, um, you know, how much juice you still have left in there and that kind of stuff. You can click it here and we'll show you the display. Uh, it has two uh, D-tabs here connections. So I'm using one to power my grip here, another one to power the monitor. Uh, and then also it has a uh, five volts USB connection on the top. Uh, and like I said, this one battery will actually power this whole rig for four hours. So it's pretty cool. So if you get two of these for most video shoots out there, you're gonna be pretty good with this. Uh, and like I said, now because it's using also this uh, Came TV uh, Crystal V uh, transmitter, I can also wirelessly send the signal. And in this case here, I have it set up. Uh, you can see I have the receiver. And uh, yeah, and I'm getting basically the signal here. Uh, not much to see here right now because the camera is not pointing anything interesting, but yeah. Uh, so basically I'm getting the wireless video signal here uh, on, the, on the receiver. Uh, and another actually really cool thing about the Kim TV Crystal wireless video system is that not only does it send a signal, it works up to 500 uh, meters, a so pretty long distance, but it also, the, the receiver basically creates a Wi-Fi signal. And when you have a, the Wi-Fi signal and let's say you connect to it on your iOS or Android device, then uh, you'll be able to actually, uh, here, if I check, let's say on my phone, yeah, we'll connect it. You start up their app and you'll actually be able to see basically what the camera sees on your phone. So now with this one wireless video system, you're able to monitor not only on your monitor here that's connected to your receiver, but also you can if have any of your, let's say, clients or whoever else is on set, they can you know whip out their mobile device uh, and they can install their app and they can monitor the shot using one of their you know mobile devices. Uh, so you can connect actually up to four basically devices because you can connect uh, this monitor, which then you could even keep on splitting off if you wanted more of these monitors, and then you can connect up to three wireless, uh, you know, mobile devices. Uh, so uh, again, really cool way of being able to transmit the signal uh, wirelessly and, and make sure that everybody's seeing, you know, what the shot looks like. They can all uh, kind of, you know, approve the shot or whatever it is, you know, the case might be. Uh, or let's say if somebody you know needs to pull focus remotely, let's say with the, again the Kim TV wireless video system, then that's a, a great way of, of doing it. And what I li love about this, you know, the Crystal V is that because of this V mount is a connection on the back and the front, is that you're able to kind of sandwich it between your camera and the V mount, and it doesn't again take up any extra space. You don't need some other arms or something to attach it in some awkward spot. It's just there on the back of your camera, and it's gonna work. Uh, and like I said, if you buy this little here adapter, this is basically a Sony NPF battery adapter uh, that will allow you to basically attach this to your to the back of your Z cam, and then on the back of this you have a V mount basically connection. So then you can power the Z cam using uh, any standard V mount battery. So that's another really cool accessory. That's something that I use. Um, I'm using also a small rig little monitor here in swivel so it allows me to you know adjust the angle of the monitor left and right up and down so this is again really cool depending on how i have the camera i can use this to monitor the shots so it's another one of those many little things that small rig makes that you can get uh and again what's going to work with this camera setup or any other right, pretty much camera rig that you might have out there especially if you have another cage like a small rig cage on, on another camera
Now, another thing I want to talk about is this grip. This is a grip made by port keys. I've used a lot of their monitors and other accessories before, EVFs. Uh, and this is this cool new grip. I like just the look of it actually and the feel in your hand. So it's you know made out of wood here and then uh, some polymer plastics. It feels very solid, but it's not just for holding the camera. I mean, like a lot of times if I'm hand holding the camera, uh, you know, if I'm kind of, you know, doing it like this, kind of a small setup, then it's great. You have this grip and you can hold it right there. Uh, but the, uh, even if I have the camera on sticks, I like to have this grip because this grip basically connects uh, using the the camera control cable and you can get this grip by the way um, and it will work pretty much with any camera out there so whenever you order it you want to make sure you specify which camera you have and they'll give you the right control cable but basically you attach this to your cameras in this case I have it connected to the Z cam obviously and then with this grip I'm able to basically start and stop the camera so you have a nice big start and stop button here uh, but you also have a lot of these buttons here. So you have these, this kind of a lever here and you can customize what this does. So if, as you switch to the different positions, it will control different settings in your camera. So you can very fast, let's say, adjust um, you know, the iris or the, the whatever it is that really that you want, the, the white balance, things like that, ISO. Uh, you have another lever here on the top, which again, you can program to control other things. You have this little joystick. And this even will work if, for example, you have certain, like for example, if you have the Tilta Nano uh, wireless follow focus system, you can actually connect it remotely through Bluetooth or directly actually you can connect uh, to the, 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 basically the motor, the Tilta motor for the follow focus system. And you can then use this also to be able to pull your focus. Uh, so really cool grip. Like I said, it works great. Uh, you know, it's nice and solid, feels well in your hand, but it also has these multi-functionalities. And like I said, it works not just with the Z cam, but it's going to work with most other cameras out there, which is pretty cool. Uh, and that's kind of the same thing actually when it comes to the, um, the Cam TV follow focus. Like I said, you can connect this to uh, basically be able to start and stop uh, cameras. And again, it's going to work with Panasonic, Sony, you know, Canon, whatever, Z cam cameras. Uh, so that you can again remotely start and stop the cameras and anyways this is like I said my sort of a full rig now let's say if I'm going to be working with the camera and if I want to have it on my shoulder then again having the rails on the bottom you can get extend these rails and make them longer uh, and actually have a, a pad like a shoulder pad from small rig that attaches to the rails that then means that I can now put the camera up on my shoulder and have it properly balanced. I can offset the, the batteries in the back. Like you can do all kinds of cool stuff. So uh, that's one of the reasons why I like using, you know, kind of build everything I would say based on the small rig cage and all the little accessories around it. Uh, you know, as far as my monitor right now, uh, before I was actually using the port keys monitor with my Z cam. Now I started using the Atomos Ninja 5. It's a great, you know, monitor and recorder. The main reason why I switched from the port keys is that now Atomos uh, kind of teamed up together with Zcam and you can actually record Apple ProRes from this camera uh, or, you know, uh, Apple ProRes RAW or Apple ProRes the standard kind of a different different flavors of it. So that's the, the really cool thing. So you can actually get RAW capability out of this camera and record it on external basically hard drives or SSDs. Uh, so that's one of the reasons why I switched to it. And you can actually now also, I don't have it right now, I just ordered it, but you can connect a little cable from up here from the control basically plug and you can plug that into the camera and let's say if you don't have the grip then you can also you know do all the things like i was saying let's say control white balance shutter angle all that stuff uh using the the touch screen functionality on the atomos ninja so definitely if you guys are thinking about you know setting up your z camera for like a proper you know film shoot uh, you know, there's a lot of possibilities out there, like I said, and even I, like I said, I'll reconfigure and change this depending on what type of shot I'm getting or what type of production that I'm doing. Like I said, like, and you know, some cases I might not even be using this mud packs, right? So let's say if I don't want to use it, I can take the mud packs, I can throw in, let's say, variable ND filter here like that. Um, let's say I don't need the, the V mount battery. Let's say I want to have a smaller battery, maybe that won't last me as long, but it's gonna also power the camera. So I can, for example, do that by, here, I can just remove this. So like I said, this is the wireless video system here. 
This is the cool little uh, V-mount battery, tiny, but very, very useful. And that's that adapter that I was mentioning. So, so as you can see, it just has Sony NPF style here connection and it has a V-mount connection here and it just works great. It's the same brand, actually the same company uh, that makes the, those batteries there. So like, as you can see, now I can put a smaller Sony NPF style battery there. Uh, let's say if I don't want to use, you know, let's say, yeah, maybe, maybe those rails even. So I can detach the camera from the rails. Uh, yeah, a lot of cables here because I kind of try to always wrap those cables around the handle, kind of keep things neat. But as you can see, you now you can strip it down and now, for example, you can have the camera like this, right? Obviously, I would detach some of these cables that I don't need anymore for the wireless video system the, and, the, and the follow focus. But yeah, you can now quickly switch and have the camera kind of nice and small. So you can hold it here with the grip. Um, let's say if you want to go even smaller, throw this on a gimbal. Then again, you have this uh, Airy Rosette here attachment on the side so you can detach the, the grip itself. Now, as you can see, you can have the camera this small and let's say, like I said, if you're going to put it on a gimbal, most likely you're just going to remove the monitor, maybe mount it somewhere else. So again, you can do that and as you can see how quickly small this camera can be. But then if you want to, you can again quickly throw all the things back on there and that's kind of how I work with it. Uh, another good thing I, I just mentioned really quickly is that cool thing about the Z-Cam is that it sends out actually a 12 volt auxiliary uh, signal. So if you have, let's say, the you know, and sorry, Sony batteries or the, one of the V-mount batteries on there, and you want to share the power, you can do that, and that's kind of how I basically plug in the the Ninja Five. I use that, and I have this little cable here that's like a DC cable to a Limo connection here, and that allows me to share uh, share the power basically. So that and and also it's actually good because uh, this way whenever I turn down uh, or power off the camera, it automatically powers off to my monitor. It kind of saves the battery there. Um, and yeah, like I said, if I was let's see, throwing this up on a gimbal, then I would probably just remove this thing. You know, I would get a longer HDMI cable and let's say put this up on the side of my gimbal or something. And as you can see, you can have the camera very quickly stripped down nice and small. But then if you need to have all those other functionalities, then you can quickly start adding all those accessories. You know, spend the time, get all the pieces, slowly add them up, build your rig, test it out. Uh, and make sure that everything's working properly, you know, everything's being powered and all that stuff. And once you're happy with it, then, uh, you know, definitely having a nice proper rig is going to make working with not just a Z-Cam, but with any ca cinema, especially cameras out there, it's going to make it a lot easier and more enjoyable to work with them. Uh, anyways, if you guys enjoyed this video, make sure you let me know uh, down in the comment section below. Also, as always, head on over to my website at tomantasfilms.com where you guys can find out uh, a lot more info about not just this rig, but some of the other rigs that I've done before, some of the other reviews of the different pieces that I have up here, uh, and filmmaking tutorials. Uh, so yeah, make sure you're heading over there. And while you're there on my website, also subscribe to my newsletter so you stay up to date on any of these uh, future posts and videos. And my name once again is Tom, and uh, I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.